Hey, what's going on you peasants? In this episode, we're gonna be talking about activities inside of Android. Now, I know we're pretty far in the series and we're just now getting to activities. We've talked about them a little bit in the earlier episodes, but now we're focusing on them for the next section of videos. So hopefully we get a pretty good understanding of them. Now, what is an activity? Simple question. It's not those things where you like do stuff. No, it's not those kinds of activities. It's just a screen on your app. So let's say we have a phone and let's say we have the screen on the phone. We're gonna go old school. We still have like a border and a button down here. <laughs> this here, what shows up here is known as an activity. And we're going to have, oh, that looks terrible. We're going to have a main activity and that's kind of like your home page, right? So let's say we're in the context of an email application. Well, what kind of stuff would be on our main activity? I imagine we probably have a series of emails on here from people right here, like so. And you know, we might have a little plus button to compose a new email. And we might have a little search and that is a magnifying glass, if you can't tell. Uh, and yeah, this is an activity. Now, when you click something, such as this plus button, this might open a new activity. So now the screen's going to change and it might look something like, instead of having all these emails here, you might have a, a box to type in and you know your keyboard might pop up with the different letters you can type and then who you're sending it to and so forth. So this is a separate activity. So you can see how one activity can send to another activity. Another thing you need to consider is how your app is opened. Uh, because oftentimes, since these are so kind of like their own entities, we have one activity here, we have one activity here, we can send people directly to a specific activity. So you don't always have to go through this home page. So for an example, let's say we have a website and we have an email button. Someone clicks that email, it opens your email app, and it immediately goes to the compose uh, activity and it just skips the home page altogether. That is an example of how we can access our app in different ways and the activity that shows up depends on what we're trying to do. All right, so basically you can think of all the activities as serving a specific purpose and there is a level of separation of concerns. So basically a fancy phrase to say, the activities are not dependent on one another. Now, does it always work that way? Maybe not, but ideally they can be separate. So it might look like something like this. We can think about every possibility of different screen as an activity. So we have the home page, we have a compose email, we have a settings, we have a account details, we have, I don't know, I'm out of ideas. Anyways, we have a bunch of different pages and in theory, you should be able to open to any one of these pages directly without having to go through any of the others. But sometimes you will pass information. So for example, let's say you start here and you click the compose button. Well, that's going to open this compose activity. Other times, you might be on an email from a specific person. So let's say, you know, we're on an email from John and we click reply. Well, this too might go to that compose page, but now it's going to send a little bit of extra information that uh, ones and zeros is that represents information. It's like binary, right? So we can pass that extra information. So now in this activity, it automatically fills in John in the, the two section. So that is how activities work. They can, they can be separate, separate entities, but we can tie them together and pass information from one activity to the other. And the way we initiate a new activity and pass data is um, we're going to get into all of the, the different ways of doing that. Um, how to get data from this activity to this activity 
and we're going to be using these things called intents. Uh, yeah, so we'll get into intents and what they are. So we'll, we will use an intent to initiate a new activity and pass data to it, but there's various ways of doing it, the, the passing the data part. So we got a lot of information coming up. Hopefully you can start piecing this information together. I, I know it's a lot of like scattered information, but again, we're trying to learn those Legos and eventually we'll be able to piece them together and start building cool apps. But you're not gonna be able to do that unless you understand some of these concepts. I want you to leave this series knowing more and not necessarily just having this thing that you built and have no idea how it works. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned in the next episode. We are going to try to get hands on with these activities. And we're also going to get in a little bit into design, how to make them not look like a giant turd and how to, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We're going to get into best practices and all that stuff as well. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll get through the activities and then we'll, we'll move into fragments and all kinds of other cool stuff. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. <sighs>